Hey Jada, you want to go yarn shopping? I'm so glad I had my seatbelt on for that. <laughs> Hey everybody! So a lot of you asked if we would take you yarn shopping when we went on our first yarn shopping expedition in over a year. I decided I wouldn't buy any yarn last year. Mr. and Stitches was very good about helping me keep to that challenge because I wanted to use up all the yarn I already had. I made a dent in it, I didn't use it all up, but the year is over so now it's time to go yarn shopping. So we've come to a Michaels and we're going to check out the yarn they have available. We have a list that we compiled thanks to all of the helpful suggestions that you guys were leaving in the comments and in the chat when one of our last live streams. And I have my Christmas money from Mama and Papa in Stitches. That's $100 Canadian. So if any of you are not familiar with a Canadian $100 bill, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Monopoly money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we are going to head in and do some shopping. We're not so sure how it's going to work in there for filming. We're going to try and get a little bit of filming done. Um, but we're definitely going to take some photographs, but uh, let's head in and, and see what we can find. You know what? That reminds me. Yes. I have a surprise for you. You do? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. I know you have giant sunglasses on, but you have to close your eyes for this. Okay. <laughs> My eyes are shut. Okay, your eyes are shut. Yes, you yes. promise? Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can't tell. I can't Okay, shut. they're sh they're shut. Yeah. All right, open your eyes. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. You're welcome. Okay, so there's an additional. <laughs> that's another hundred bucks. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a crazy yarn job. So that's what, and that's what a Canadian fifty looks like. <laughs> we don't see these very often. No. So. <laughs> that's kind of like your delayed Christmas present. I know you wanted to. Uh, <laughs> Go nuts with the yarn shop. Oh my so gosh! Okay, well thank you, sweetie. Um, all right, so in we go. We're gonna see what we can find. I've got my list and uh, let's just jump right into it. So as you can see, we have footage of us shopping in Michael's, but it was very noisy. There were lots of people hanging around, lots of conversation, and because we want to respect people's privacy, we thought it would be best to mute the clips and just sort of take you through a little commentary as to what we were doing when we got into the store. We did have a strategy. So the whole idea behind this trip was that because I hadn't been doing any yarn shopping in a year, we knew there were gonna be a whole bunch of new things on the market. And I tend to get overwhelmed when I go into a yarn store at the best of times, add a year of deprivation, you get total brain meltdown. <laughs> so we thought we would wander through the entire yarn section. I would just let the colors and the weight categories and the different kinds of fibers and products just sort of wash over me, uh, get it all out of my system, and then we would grab the stuff we liked on the second go round and compare it against the list of all the stuff that we're kind of looking for here. So you're gonna see me picking up tons of bulky weight yarn, tons of jumbo weight yarn, lots of multicolored balls of yarn because even though I have way more than enough in my stash, I can't help it. I am so drawn to these beautiful, multicoloring, spiraling, twisting balls of yarn. They're so pretty. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like bulky weight and super bulky weight yarns, like this one, have totally taken over the market. I feel like they were 50 to 60% of the total yarn options available. So much bulky weight. The other thing, or at least what I feel is a trend that we noticed when we were out in the stores, is the sheer number of multicolored balls of yarn. So if 50 to 60% of the yarn on offer was bulky weight, then about the same again in terms of colored ways was multiple colored balls of yarn. So you've got your variegated, your twist, your pretty little cakes like this one. That's a Lion Brand homespun. That was new, I hadn't seen that before. Um, so the self-striping balls of yarn, uh, beautiful stuff. It seems like everybody's got a cake going right now. I love all the different colored tools and the buttons. I could just <laughs> hang out in this part of the store for hours on end alone, just looking at all the options. And here's a kind of ball that I thought was beautiful too. This is variegated, but it's just all sort of monochromatic. It's all hues and shades of the same color. And I love green, so that really caught my attention. In addition to all the really pretty twisting, self-striping, variegated balls of yarn we found, we also found a lot of balls of yarn that had a twinkle or a shimmer running through it, which 
obviously caught my attention. I just love this stuff. It is so pretty. Um, they had a bunch of different types of it too. And one of the ones that we ended up picking up is the Shawl in a Ball. Shawl in a Ball, which is a Lion brand um, product, was on our list. I had never seen them before, so when we found them, I got really excited, and the ones that we found had a twinkle running through it. In fact, here it is right here. Ah, oh, I think that is so pretty. And because we've never used Shawl on a Ball before, I don't know if they've always been like this. They've always had a twinkle running through them. But this one's self-striping and has a twinkle, so <laughs> that one definitely ended up making the final cut. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, everybody, we're gonna show you everything we bought at the end of the video. So we're gonna take you through it, we're gonna talk about how much everything cost, um, just so you guys can have an idea of what it's like to actually go yarn shopping in a store here in Canada. And we'd love to know too, if you guys feel like what we picked up is um, right for the price, if we pay more than you do, less than you do. We'll talk about all that at the end of the video as well. And of course, no trip to the shop would be complete without checking out the giant <laughs> crochet hooks that are available. We picked up a big one last year. I'd never seen one this big, so we definitely had to get one of those. <laughs> Hey, wait, what happened? Hey, what's going on here? Oh yeah, there was a power failure while we were shopping. <laughs> anyway guys, let's jump to what we bought. Okay, so now that you've sort of seen all of the pretty yarn that we had a chance to look at, uh, we're gonna show you everything that we actually got. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this on the floor. Uh, first of all, we should probably let you know that we did pick up a couple things at Walmart just um, about a couple days before we went to Michael's, mainly because I needed a single ball of yarn to finish off a project I was working on, which was this. So nothing fancy, it's just your straight old uh, size 4 acrylic uh, yarn. This is a, a Burnett Premium. Burnett Premium is available at our local Walmart here in Southern Ontario, and I really like the Premium uh, Burnett yarns because it's really, really soft, um, and it just has a really nice feel for acrylic yarn, so I tend to buy a lot of that when I'm working on little projects. So I needed a little more blue, uh, but while I was there, <laughs> because I realized that I could buy yarn again, I got a couple more balls of yarn. So we're just going to show those to you too. <laughs> so I got one of this, this is called a Burnett Blanket Extra, and it's a super fluffy ball of yarn. It's it's like super fluffy. <laughs> it's a size seven, I think. Yeah, it's a size seven. It's considered a jumbo sized yarn. I love the mint color. They had a few different colors. Um, I picked this up. This was nine dollars and ninety seven cents Canadian at Walmart. So no sales on. That's how much one of those was, and I really like it because it's super soft. <laughs> and the other ball that I picked up there was also a Burnett blanket, and this one's called Twist. And I picked this up because just the other day on a live stream we were talking about variegated yarns and twist and tweed and all the different kinds of multicolored balls of yarn. And I have an obsession with multicolored balls of yarn, as poor Mr. and Stitches will attest to. And <laughs> uh, I picked this up because it was literally called Twist and I liked the way, I like those colors um, and it's also really soft so it's a kind of the version of the blanket yarn. It's not as thick as the typical blanket, uh, Burnett blanket yarn. Um, it's skinnier but it still has a really nice plushy feel to it and I liked the twisting of those colors. So The first one you mentioned so, was nine something? No, this the first one is the Burnett Premium and that's three dollars and ninety seven cents. Okay at a Walmart here in Southern Ontario, so, Canada. That's Canadian dollars. Okay, so three ninety seven Canadian works out to roughly two ninety nine US. Two ninety nine roughly. Okay. Yeah. Um and these were both nine dollars and ninety seven cents. As of each. as of today. As, as of, of right now. now. <laughs> yeah. As of today. <laughs> and those two were these were both nine dollars and ninety seven cents. Okay. So seven fifty US. So that's that's in a direct that's a direct conversion direct between conversion. Canadian so I just, uh, and American. I just, but we would love to know if you guys can get the same yarn for less um, in the states. How much are you actually paying for it? Because I feel like yarn is really expensive here in Canada. And like I said, this is two hundred dollars worth of yarn Canadian that we're going to show you today. So I would love to know if you guys feel like that's a lot of yarn for two hundred dollars or not very much yarn for two hundred dollars. I'm also going to tell you what each individual ball that we picked up while we were out shopping cost just so you have an idea of, of um, just what what it costs to get these sort of brand types of yarn here in in Canada uh, without sales and remember there's tax on top of everything so. Boo. <laughs> 
So, okay, moving on to the Michaels uh, section of the yarn shop. One of the first things we found, and you actually saw me pick this up in the um, the footage inside Michaels, was this Woolies Thick and Quick. We were looking for the Woolies that has all the different uh, names that belong to um, what are they called? The Greek gods, uh, but we couldn't find those, so we may not have um, those available to us yet. But this one is sort of a twist. It's kind of got like um, it's got sort of a mulberry, a mulled wine color. It's actually called spiced apple, and I absolutely love that color. And the Lion Brand Wool Ease is actually 80% acrylic and 20% wool. So the wool gives the acrylic a little more strength. It's got a really nice feel. It's not itchy at all because it's mostly acrylic. But this was $16.99. So $17 for one ball of yarn. So this one ball of yarn, which is... How much is it? There's 238 grams in it, or 157 meters. That's 170, 174 so, yards. How much was that one? It's $16.99 Canadian. So that's for one ball wow. of this. Yeah, very expensive. That's expensive stuff because yeah. it has the wool in it. I guess so, yeah. Um, so that works out to $12.78. $12.78, roughly, American. Roughly, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's, that's for one ball of yarn. Um, then... I found, so a lot of you have been talking about Lion Brand Shawl in a Ball. So we found some Shawl in a Balls, and this one has a beautiful twinkling uh, little bit of sparkle that runs through it in turquoise. And this is a self-striping yarn with a twist. So the same twisting color of that um, sort of metallic runs through the whole thing. It's a turquoise, but the actual dye of the ball itself is more of a self-striping thing. And there's kind of a picture of it there on the label. That's kind of an idea of what the coloring does. Anyway, I just love that. I love turquoise and I love that twinkle. So we picked up a shawl and a ball and we're hopefully going to do a shawl project of some kind with that. Very, very pretty. And that shawl and a ball was $11.99. So one ball, $11.99. 902 US. So 902 US. This is 61% cotton, 34% acrylic, and 5% other fiber, which I'm guessing they mean is the little metallic thread that runs through it. So other fiber, and I'll guess we're left up to our imaginations to figure out what that is. Um, and this ball is 150 grams or 481 yards in a single ball. Um, so eleven dollars ninety nine cents. That's uh, still feel that's kind of expensive, but there you go. We do not need any more variegated yarn in this house, but I could not say no to this. This looks like ice cream. You know that ice cream? That's all those oh, yeah. purples and yellows and blues and yeah. stuff. I can't think of the What's name of it. What's that called? But it's not bubble gum. Is it? It might be. Is, is it, it bubble gum? gum? I don't know, but I just I love that. Yeah. So this is Loops and Threads, and Loops and Threads is the Michaels brand of yarn, and it's Charisma. And the name of this is Passion. Ha ha, the name of it is Passion. How appropriate. Ice cream, Passion, yes, <laughs> that works. Uh, so I got three balls of that because there's only, uh, th it's th 100, 109 yards or 100 grams per ball. So they aren't very big balls, but it's a chunky weight size five yarn. And in order to make something, I thought it would be good to have three on hand because I don't know when I'll be getting off to Michael's next. And if I start into a project that requires a lot more than just 100 grams, it's nice to have three on hand, so that's why I got three of those. Five dollars and 79 cents, but they were on buy two, get one free. That's a that's good, buy two, get one free. Yeah. And that works out to uh, 436 four thirty six US. Four thirty four, okay. So yeah, that was, so they were on buy two, get one free, and they were 579 Canadian, and that's why we got three of them. And um, next, 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 next. What else we got here? There's a lot of yarn in that bag. There is. Okay, I'm going to talk to these about these ones next because I love these. So, <laughs> uh, Copenhagen was another one that got mentioned frequently. And this is also a loops and threads, so a Michaels brand of yarn. Copenhagen is, uh, these are large skeins of yarn. This is, a, this is a bulky size six. I know it says super bulky on the label, but that isn't super bulky. In my mind, super bulky is a seven or higher, but this is definitely a size six. Um, it's 131 yards or 185 grams per ball, and it's 100% acrylic. So 100% acrylic, it's really, really soft, and it comes in some really beautiful, again, this is sort of slightly variegated, slightly twisting yarn, because there's two colors twisting throughout the entire thing, but the colors keep changing. So that one is all nice shades of pink and blue. This one's called Fuzzy Slippers. <laughs> Let's hold it a little Fuzzy closer. Slippers. Um, it really does look fuzzy. Yeah. 
So same ball of yarn. These were on buy two, get one free as well. So that one's Lotus and that's got beautiful lime green and sort of an aqua blue and a bit of a gray and white running through it. I just love that, very fresh. And then a third ball of Copenhagen and this one's called Tea Cozy. <laughs> 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 also, also, they're all 100% acrylic. They're all the same size. Um, and that one's got sort of um, rust colors and some aquamarine running through it, a little bit of gray. I think that's beautiful as well. And these ones, uh, Copenhagen, these were $8.99 Canadian each. And you said that was how much? Uh, that works out to six seventy six US per ball. Six seventy six US per ball. Okay, and that was the Loops and Threads Copenhagen. Gorgeous stuff. Beautiful combina uh, color combination. Oh yeah, absolutely. Let's see what else we got here. Um, oh, okay. There's a couple things. So, uh, had some requests to make some projects using sock weight yarn. I don't have a lot of sock weight yarn in the stash, so Mr. and Stitches pointed this out. And this is Patton's Croy. This is literally called Socks for Socks. I think that is beautiful. And this is also, in case you're interested, they also call it four ply. So if you go with the ply weight measurement system, most of the yarn that we purchase here in Southern Ontario doesn't have the ply measurement system. It's mostly um, the size four or the name, like a medium or a worsted weight. This is a literally a sock weight or a fine, I think it's called, yeah, this is a one. This is a size one, so it's considered a super fine weight yarn. Got two balls of that. $8.49 per ball. $8.49 Canadian. Six thirty nine US. Six thirty nine. So over sixteen dollars just for these two little balls, and these are uh, seventy five percent washable wool, twenty five percent nylon, and there's one hundred and sixty six yards in each ball, um, or fifty grams. So they're very small balls, um, and I think that's pretty expensive stuff. But there you go. So the next set. This was also a buy two, get one free. So I got three balls of this. This is also a Loops and Threads brand of yarn. It's called Country Loom Color Burst. And the color of this one is Rainbow Skies. You guys know I love rainbows. I love every color under the sun. And if you can mix them all together in a single ball of yarn, I'm more likely to buy it. <laughs> Uh, I just absolutely love the colors twisting their way through this ball of yarn. So I had to get three of them. Um, it is definitely a bulky weight yarn. I think they called this, yeah, they called this a size six. This is definitely a bulky weight yarn. It is 47 yards. So very small balls of yarn, 100 grams, um, very short length. So there's a hundred, that's a hundred percent acrylic. Very, very soft, nice and squishy. Um, you can put that in the washing machine, but it's such nice yarn. I will probably hand wash and lay flat to dry. $6.99 each. They were on buy two, get one free. So we did get one free ball of yarn. So almost $7. So that's $5.26 USD. Okay, so that's what they are each. So that was that. Oh my gosh, I'm just looking at it all piling up on my feet. Maybe so pretty. <laughs> um, all right, another thing we got asked about a lot was Red Heart Scrubby. So this is Scrubby. Um, it's meant for making scrub cloths, so for doing the dishes and stuff. It's got a real kind of, I don't know what you'd call that. It's it's very picky, um, kind of Fiber, kind of meant to fibers. be sort of scrubby. It's not. It doesn't hurt. Feels soft and hard at the same time. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> it's it's interesting. Like it's soft, but but a little bit scratchy. 100% polyester. Um, obviously you can throw it in the washing machine, so this, it's machine This one's called dry. Ducky. Excuse me, Ducky. That's this cute. one's Royal. Yeah. This one's Royal. This one's Ducky. Blue, a, a Royal blue basically and a bright lemony yellow. I love those colors. I picked those colors. Yes, Mr. and Stitch just picked these colors. I'm very colors. proud of my choice. Uh, because I was leaning towards the variegated and he was like, can we just try something <laughs> solid? And I'm like, you know what? Yeah. As everyone can see, <laughs> as, as everyone can see the <laughs> variegated stash. My, 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 my problem is out in the open. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that's 100% polyester. Each ball is 92 yards or 100 grams each. And they are $4.99 each. The last set of yarn balls, there's a couple other things in this bag, but <laughs> I got three balls of this as well. Um, this is Patton's Cobble, Cobbles. So it looks literally like a cobblestone yeah. pathway. I've never seen anything like this. Um, I thought it 
it had such a cool look to it. It had a lot of nice colors too. Um, I was pretty particularly drawn to this one and it's called Dreamy Pink. It has that sort of 1980s rose pink thing going on. It's very soft. Um, it's 100 grams, so that's also a 100 gram ball. Imagine, that's a 100 gram ball, and that's a 100 gram ball. So the weight, depending on what's in it, the fiber and how tightly it's spun and how thin it is, you can, you know, 100 grams looks pretty different. So that's 100 grams. Um, what did I say this was at though? How many? Yeah, 92 yards, and this is 100 grams, but it's only 41 yards because mm. it's much thicker, right? Um, lovely sort of soft, fluffy feel to it. It is 49% wool, so that's actually a high wool content. 49% wool, 49% acrylic, 2% nylon. That's what that is. So we got three balls of that. $9.99 per ball. So right away, guys, that's $30 of yarn. $30 Canadian. So, so that was $9.99 $9 each. $9.99 each, no deal. So that is... So in US dollars, that's roughly $7.52. Okay, so that's what we're paying for yarn here in this country without any particular deals. Pretty expensive. So that was the yarn we picked up. And there's two other things we got. Had to get this. This is, to date, the biggest crochet hook I have ever seen. <laughs> we got a big one last year, which was 25 millimeter. This one is 35 millimeter, and it's meant to be used with really thick yarn. It's 100% beech wood, which I thought was kind of neat. It has, it's, it's not light, I'm not gonna lie. That is not a light hook, so you would definitely not wanna be sitting and doing a marathon crochet uh, event with this, but because of the size of it, you're definitely gonna be using more of your arm and your shoulder when you're crocheting something that large. So we got that big, big hook. And then one other little thing, because I'm also a button fanatic, for those of you who know, and we saw this. This is, I think, um, it's, well, it's turquoise. Is it glass I'm, not, I'm not sure what it's made out of. No, it's made in Thailand. Clay? It feels like wood with some glaze on the inside of it. Um, and it was $7.49 just for one button. So, <laughs> so that, everything you saw there, the button, the gigantic hook, all of that yarn, um, we spent $168 in total at Michael's <coughs> and we spent approximately $30 at um, Walmart. So that's the $200. So all the yarn you saw today, that's 200 Canadian dollars of yarn. That's what we picked up on our first big yarn shopping trek after the year of not buying any yarn. We are going to find a home for all of this yarn here in the craft room. Thank you so much for sitting down and checking out what we managed to pick up after a year long of not doing any yarn shopping whatsoever. Um, and we will talk to you guys again really soon here on the Data and Stitches Show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have an awesome week, everybody. <laughs>